Finally, a long last Code America is back. The Code Lyoko review is done, and, well, it's happy to be back. Especially this time. It's time for me to get on my blue or four-sided key base soapbox and rant a little bit. And it's funny, this rant. It was going, going to be about Sony's ineptitude for making idiotic mistake after idiotic mistake. But then something happened. Something that changed the proverbial codex of anger bursting in my mind. Yesterday, and yes, I mean literally yesterday, I read a report on IGN.com as confirmed by TVGuide.com that G4, yeah, that network, the network that has forgotten its identity since, well, 2010, officially canceled Attack of the Show and Exploit, two of the stalwarts of its network. How big is this? Well, this officially marks the end of an error. The end of a network. The end of a dream. With the cancellation of these two shows, it marks the ultimate death of the OG4 as the stupid network suits decide to make a brilliant decision and turn the channel's direction towards a more, as my partner in crime, Ninja Goku, protest into an MTV like station. How is that going to work exactly? That, uh, that about works works as much as the PSN lately, or at least its security systems. And it about wor works as much as Jeff Prost does between Survivor seasons, which is absolutely zero. You see, G4 came out around 1997 and was heralded as TV for Gamers. Although the origins of the name of the network are bizarre and was finally re revealed in an epi episode of Attack when, ironically, the episode in which Kevin Pereira left, saying saying that the founder of the network wanted something catchy and just thought of the G4 plane. And the name stuck. The network, network quickly grew a cult following on its very few places that you could find it and ultimately found its way to then Adelphia, now Comcast, Digital Cable Service. I remember the first day I tuned in to G4. Such bliss, such elegance in a TV network dedicated to my number one hobby. And this was when Power Rangers was going through its up and down times and video games were just beginning to boom, but not yet. I remember not changing the channel for hours, perhaps days, surfing shows like Filter or Blister, or checking out the newest video game trailer on Cinema Tech. But those were, those were then. All the way back in 1999, though, the network merged with a little-known tech network called Tech TV, which Tech TV is the network that originally had X-Play under its belt as the only video game show as part of the network, and a show called The Screensavers. If that name is high to you, 
It's the show that eventually became Attack of the Show in 2000. But what G4 represented is the coming out party for the video game culture. A lot of people still, to this day, view video game culture as a subset, as a niche, and something that will eventually go away. Exactly the same viewpoint that people had about video games when it originally debuted in 1981 with the Atari 2600. There was a hobby, something that would pass time and be forgotten about. Funny thing though, video games now make more money collectively than other forms of media combined, almost now becoming a $50 billion industry with big name directors like Steven Spielberg even throwing their money around to make video game studios and games. Hell! He was the original creator of Medal of Honor, for goodness sakes, before it was crap. And trust me, if you played Warfighter, you know exactly what I'm talking about. See, G4 is something that is needed as television for gamers now. With the gaming boom being at an all-time high, why would the suits and NBC Universal decided to be a bright idea via to change the network's format into something that we all know is not going to work. See, MTV has dominated made it the kind of teen pop culture angst thing all the way since hmm. 1981! Yep, MTV's about 30. So am I. And it kind of shows my age here a bit. However, even with shows like Jersey Shore leading, leaving the TV airways, thank God, MTV is still showing showing a dominance in that sector. With video games are the booming media and not not everybody having access to the internet to get video game news, wouldn't a 24 hour video game channel be a smart money making idea? Of course it would. And that's what makes yesterday's announcement that much more angering. If Spike TV can be a channel for men and get off the ground, and Lifetime can even change its identity from an estrogen-filled, beat-up men torture fest that that network is, why can't a TV network based on the society of video game culture be a grand idea. What? We're just going to leave it to internet sites like Screw Attack and Game Trailers to carry the torch of G4's grand idea? No. We, the internet, need to stand tall. Stand up and say no to this crap. Let's be honest. We, the video game culture, now hold entertainment in the palm of our sweaty Call of Duty playing hands. Let's use that power to drive a stake into this bad idea's heart. So, when X play and attack of the show effectively end on December the 28th, don't watch the channel. Don't even flip towards the channel. Don't even acknowledge the channel. Get rid of it. Just like DirecTV did. Hey, I wonder why. Because they're re-airing 
shows like Cops every five minutes. Shows that people have no interest in. Instead, build attention, make videos like this one, and demand that another video game channel be made. This is a sad day in video game culture that was yesterday. And it really shows how truly stupid the TV industry has become. If a show, if a show like my beloved Koglioko can get resurrected from the dead, maybe in a couple of years, a video game channel may arise. But on the topic of G4, it's sad to see you go. And see you go, you do. As pathetic, soulless, unfrightful idiots. And you wonder why people don't listen. Because you didn't either. Say video games as a TV platform. It is desperately needed. And as for G4, as of December, it's been nice knowing ya. And not so much. Live life by the code and keep G4's torch. The true G4 burning brightly.